So my car is packed and I'm off on my Aberdeenshire tour. There'll be stories, there'll probably be bits that I don't even know. And I'm from here. I'm really excited. And what I'm actually most excited about, what am I gonna feel once I've visited some of the places that we've been in the planning for some time now? Food producers, stories, passion, frustration perhaps. From the land to the sea, it's all within touch and distance. And I know there is a huge food story untold. I'm ready. Show me this wonderful treasure chest of cherries. Oh my word. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I, I actually can't believe I'm here in Aberdeenshire. So I'm now overlooking Lunan Bay here in Aberdeenshire and it is absolutely stunning. This Arbiki distillery and visitor experience is all about field to bottle. It's probably one of the most exciting up and coming experiences and I am so thrilled to be here. So they've got, certainly got it all here. Vodka tour, gin tour, tastings, all the merchandise, surrounded by Aberdeenshire's coastland and farmland. It's breathtaking. This is quite a treasure chest. Yeah. And I don't quite know um, how it all works. Uh, you've been here forever. A long time, a lot um, of years. So t tell me about this place. What we do is fishermen will fish out in the sea there along the coast. Yep. Bring their pots, their lobsters into here. We'll weigh them in, tank them, and then this we'll- This is the tank here? Every day we'll sell locally and people can just pick the lobsters out of the tank, whatever size they want. And then whatever needs cooked in the kitchen, we'll take through and we'll cook and we'll sell up and prepare. Could you take one out? Yep, no problem. It's a bit frisky, is it? Yeah, a bit lively. A little bit. Uh, this is third generation now. So we've gone from like the wholesale side of things to, yeah, lobster rolls, a family recipe, the lobster salad, which was this my grand's. Um, That's your grand's recipe? Yeah. So this used to be, we would take this to barbecues and she would make it at home. And now, yeah, all our friends have to buy it now instead of us. Is that Hasselback, Hasselback yes. Tatties? Yes, Hasselback Tatties. This is trying to be look at them. fancy. That goes with our sharing platter. It's, it's such a surreal thing because I actually feel I'm on holiday at home. Um, and that sounds bizarre in itself. Um, so we are now off to uh, a really good butchers uh, just near Jones Haven. And this is where all the magic happens. And we can go and say hello to Chris. Here he is. All right. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? Thank you for the sunshine, by the way. Not a problem. I kind of, I'm just so excited to be here. <laughs> I, I said outside for a come in. It's just like, there's just layers and layers of kind of uh, secret stories of kept in this backyard. Um, how long have you been here? Um, well, it's fourth generation. So the shop here was in 1928. Um, but me and my mom, we And your mum's here as well. Room. And you come. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Hi. 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 How are Hi. You? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Um, so, how's business? Good. Always up to something. Always yeah, a job. Good. Never so a what, what have we got here? Uh, so, we've got our lovely home cured hams, our Amberdeen Angus beef from Little Barris. And that's our homemade pastrami as well. And then we make our own chutneys. Mm. Oh, well, I'll tell you. The timing of this visit is perfect because we've been on this little road trip and we're starving. That's the oven ready. <laughs> no wonder people come from miles to taste these pies. They're absolutely amazing. Thank you. You should be so proud. Um, so this is beef. Yes. 
And Who's how long has it been in? Um, it's only been in four hours. It needs another four. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's just slow smoke. And this is the chips? That's the one. Oh, I tell you, you could, if you could actually, you could, you could sell the smell. <laughs> What a beautiful day it is, Pitmedden Gardens just over here, not far from uh, my restaurant Tito on the Green and I have this little treasure chest of a farm shop, I want to show you um, and it's really understated, we've got an honesty book there that uh, I get a little bill uh, afterwards, uh, Heather who passionately makes the jams and chutneys. I can't tell you how amazing these are. Okay, so I can't think of a better breakfast here in Aberdeenshire and I'm at the Still Spirit, so I've got a few options of whiskey. I've got some oats and uh, I'm surrounded by farmland that produces the finest oats. I've got the local barra berries. Um, about five miles from here. Um, beautiful raspberries and strawberries. So the welcome very much says it on the wall. We are Brewdog, this is our home. And of course, there is nowhere quite like home. There is people come from all over the world. They are fascinated that in Aberdeenshire, we have this giant of a food and drink producer known to the world and of course Brewdog it's all about what comes from the bar. So I'm away to see Jimmy Buchan. Oh hey, tell him how's it going? A good friend of Jimmy's here we've met in yes. St Haven. Oh Jim McLean that's me and Jimmy he's a character. He is a character, I think you're a character. <laughs> were, you, were you at sea? I, all my life. All his life at sea? All at the age of 14. 14 years old, you've been at sea. Huge respect. Jane, how long have you been here? I've been living here for 15 years 15 on this farm. 15 years? I married a farmer who'd been farming here for much longer than me. So he's been here about 30. And this is our dairy. It, it would be rude not to, to get up close and personal with these very attractive coos. I wanted to make yogurt that was just, had no additives in it and no nasties. Just a pure, healthy product. Um, I had fed my children um, when I lived in London, Petit Filou, which was full of everything nasty and lots and lots of sugar. And I thought, well, why don't, surely now I know a little bit more about dairy, I can just make products. Who knew? So I went all over the place, all over actually. I worked in Holland and Germany for a couple of weeks at a time to learn how to make yogurt. And was trained by a wonderful lady up in West Highland Dairy, Eve Clopton. Okay. And then I made it in the kitchen, week okay. by week in a bucket of 10 litres. And then gradually we built a factory and then we were off. And I am pleased to say it's working. So that's Good. really Good. great. So it really is a wild orchard. It is a bit overgrown at this time of a year. A wild yeah. orchard with a view. Um, I, have to, I have to say, do you, you know, when you walk out here a coffee in the morning, do you get inspired to come up with the recipes? I think I get inspired. I have probably two roots. One is when I see a crop and I think, oh, I wonder what I could make that into. And the other would be when I, I come across a flavour, like I might be eating something with cinnamon that I've yeah. eaten a million times before and I suddenly think, oh, I wonder what that would be like with elderberry, see? And then, you know, you, you develop a recipe like that. Do you feel, do you feel that there's kind of more, more kind of, um emphasis on maybe um, cooking with the, the, the kind of crops when the weather changes? I think there is a definitely a kind of autumn harvest factor when you've got this yeah. desire to kind of gather stuff around and you, you want preserve it to last it, a wee bit longer jars. almost, yeah, you know? Yeah. You want to take the, you, you know that the crop's coming to finish so you're saying well we still want the flavour so you are How preserving you, it I exactly. suppose. Exactly and I think with jams especially if you can get a a small batch of quick jam, I'm sure you know, you'll get the, you'll keep the flavour. And if you can cook it fast and minimal intervention, you'll you'll have that damping flavour or ramen flavour or whatever it is in the jar. We've all heard about gate to plate. Well, there's no plate today, but what's on the menu today is the Forest Farm. 
and let's get up close and personal with the stars of the show. And I've also got Angus from Forest Farm. Hello. The organic dairy. Wow. It's not a bad spot, is it? Just wow. They look quite happy. Yep. So they've been milked this morning. Um, so they were milked at uh, five o'clock this morning. Well, I have to ask you, I have to ask you, I've been going round Aberdeenshire and uh, what time did you yoke this morning? Oh, well, I'm a bit later out of my bed. My brother milked the cows, so he was up at five. And I was so up. he yoked at five. He, was he in... is our early morning <laughs> yoker. I, I knew it would be a farmer. I knew it. <laughs> Can I have a tiny taste? Of course you may. Um, pick a spoon. You can't go for that. <laughs> This is breakfast. That is... Smooth. Heavenly. We are so, so lucky to have such a honest product that is made with passion here in Aberdeenshire. We're just uh, passing the Cambus O'May Bridge, uh, which is a fairly spectacular uh, backdrop of D side here. I always feel when I'm driving through here, it's, everything just seems to soften. Uh, the colors of the trees, um, it, everything sh seems quite sheltered, um, but certainly, um, all the places that we are dropping in on, um, they really are, they can't hide their, their passion. Hidden in the wee corner, again surrounded by Aberdeenshire Hills, we've got the Lost Loch Spirits Craft, Contract Distillers, Tours and School Shop. Sounds good. Let's go and have a wee look. So who have we got here? Uh, so I've got some of my favourites in the herd in for you to meet um, today. Uh, we've got Hazel here, one of my favourite cows, and our calf Havana. Um, and uh, we've got Abby in the pen next door, Duchess and her little calf. The Duchess. They, they've all got um, lovely uh, Gaelic or Scottish names and registered with the, the Breed Society. They look very happy and chill. They are pretty relaxed. Um, it's a bit of a treat for them being brought in to, to meet you today, Craig, and uh, the visitors that are coming tonight for a tour um, and an experience here on the farm. Um, uh, no matter what the weather is, um, there's always somebody wanting to come and, and meet the cattle and the herd and find out all about them. <laughs> She's very friendly. <laughs> very friendly. Got a new friend. Yes. <laughs> so on the road cooking. Perfect. We've got our on the road kitchen. Grace, do you mind? Excellent. Okay, so we have got the fabulous uh, beef uh, that we've talked about. It looks absolutely fantastic and I don't really need to do much to it, but I thought a real nod to where we are, we would uh, have a wee sizzle and of course uh, add a bit more Aberdeenshire. What's not to love? The place is amazing. 